Hey, what's going on, guys? Right, okay. I've started a new little... I'm gonna, okay, let's think of a name. Paddy Chat. There we go, okay. So I've created these... I've only done, I think, one so far, and I'm going to call it Paddy Chat. It's going to be a series of me doing short little videos on a Saturday, which, of course, as you, yeah, probably guess by now, it is Saturday today, going out tomorrow. Brand new field. I did actually do sort of a test early this week um, after school. It was a day where I didn't have any lessons, well, homeschooling lessons. So I, we went out for a bit there, and we got, got a couple of good finds. Like we had, I had a full thimble. We had, yeah, some good things. Don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. And I want to do a little short video today about hammers. So, oh, everybody likes hammers. They're very nice coins. Some are very big, some are very small. Got my little bit of little notepad here. Look, got a bit of information. Look, my little paddy detects notepad. Yeah, I don't really need that because I, I know what I'm going to say. So, hammers, they can come silver and gold. You, you can have copper ones, which are rose farthings. I've actually had one of them myself. They were introduced in about 600 AD, but then they were Saxon, so they weren't like hammered no med medieval um which are, these are all our small medieval hammers i've got white stickers behind them because i've actually got these writing on that i actually registered them in this green book which has just got little i'll get it out real quick i hide them under this little secret compartment um i just covered it with my new stickers <laughs> so i literally just put every single coin with a number and we just register them. Not all the coins, because some have, like, no um, detail on, so I can't find them. But I'm, I'm up to number 148. And what's that one? It's a George V milled sixpence. <laughs> so, yeah, love hammer coins. There's lots of different types. There's things like pennies, of course, farthings. There's things like groats, so fourpence. There's, yeah, half pennies. And they can come really small. Like, let, let me just get one out here i've actually got a little tool because i've got it in this got all my coins in a booklet but i've actually got this little tool it's actually like a fishing thing because my dad goes fishing he doesn't go fishing anymore he's just out metal detecting all the time but i can just prize them out there let's just get this one out real quick if i remember this one is a oh I'll be super careful come on should have thought this through before you really but who cares come on get out right so this is charles the first so this is quite a late one there we go don't know if you can see that guys it's charles the first oh my goodness i really need to get my dad to do this Yeah, whatever. So that's a Charles the first two pence. Because it's got um behind his head he's got two eyes, which is Roman Roman numerals for two. We don't have any many big hammers really, but our first big hammer was a sixpence. Uh yeah, our first no, our first hammer was a sixpence. It's quite a big hammer. It's the one oh, that one there. Um it is like trimmed around the edges. Um peasants used to do that because the actual weight in the silver was worth more than some of the coins, but they're on that sixpence. It might not have been, I don't know. But we've got another massive one here. I remember when my dad found this. We, we were having a rubbish day. And we weren't having a rubbish day, of course. We were at Milk We had a great day, but um, we hadn't really found much. But, oh, come on. My dad, right in the afternoon, just got a nice little signal. He was like, oh, it might be a little, you know, half penny. And pulled that bad boy out. So that's a 1594 Elizabeth the first sixpence. They're just lovely coins as well. And when you see them, like, in the side of the hole, you see this little thin silver edge, and you see it, and you're like, I got hammered. And you're just thinking, yeah. I got, I got a hammer. Happy days. 
So I want to tell you a bit about the gold ones. So the gold coins, there's many different types. You have guineas, half guineas, angels. There's actually things called laurels. They're quite rare. There's just loads. I think there's things like five crown, 25 crowns. I'm not sure I should be making that up. But, and there's, of course, there's things, there's big, massive silver ones called, yeah, cr crowns. Of course, you get milled crowns. Let me get my book out here and I'll show you a crown if I can find one. Look, there's some sixpences. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth. All right, if you actually want to get a coin book, Go check this book out. This is the, um, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, the 55th edition, 55th edition. I think there's a 56th one now. But it's just an awesome book. Look, they've got things like, look, Celtic coinage. And yeah, look, these are all the early Anglo Saxon. Look, so these are all hammered. Let's find, let's find a big old, um, oh, look, there's some gold. There's some gold hammers. Ooh, quite quite a nice little price there. <laughs> um, let me find a crown real quick, guys. Just want to show you. Oh wow! Oh, that's East India Company trade coinage. Oh gosh, look at that! So that actual size there. That's. Let me give you like a comparison. Look, I've got twenty p there. That the actual coin in the book is the life size. Look, that's. Oh my goodness. That's a 20p. It's just absolutely massive. Look, it's that's the sixpence. It must be maybe twice the size of that. <laughs> that's just mental. And it does sometimes it doesn't really matter about the price. Because I found things like I found a Roman denarius and it wasn't it wasn't worth much, but it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that, yeah, it's a Roman silver coin. It's a hammered silver coin. It's a hammered gold coin. So, yeah, I reckon that's enough for today's video. I hope that gave you a little bit of, you know, information. Yeah, got my new merch on. Happy days. I might, I'm not sure. I might be selling some of that soon, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I want to get, I want to get some, get some merch myself. Get quite a few hoodies. I love my hoodies. Oh, yeah, definitely get some hats as well. Love my hat collection. So, yeah. And the cat is scratching at my bed. So I reckon it's time to end this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Going out tomorrow. I am so excited. So excited. So yeah. See you guys on the next.